guys, it's Meg and welcome back to my channel. So today's video I've got a get ready with me for you guys and I'm so excited because I haven't ever done a get ready with me since my first ever video on YouTube. I think it's just because I always say that I'm going to do it when my skin clears up and I've got a tan and those two things just never happen. So um, I thought I'd do a get ready with me today and just show you a really natural, no foundation makeup routine, which is what I do a lot of the time. I've also asked some questions on Instagram. So get your cup of tea. I've got my little Howl tea. Can you even see her? I'm in full on autumn mode. It's still only the 30th of August, but I'm just so over summer now. It's great and miserable all the time, but I've got the candles going and I'm just in full on cozy autumn mode. Okay, so I've just put some clips in and these are my like Kylie Jenner-esque clips. I got them for Christmas and I always put them in when I'm doing my makeup because they just make me feel just so glam and actually keep the hair out of my face. So of course, the first thing I'm gonna do is go in with my concealer and just conceal any blemishes I have, which can take a while. Um, my skin has just been breaking out so badly for the past year. I feel like, oh, you're gonna be able to see the label on my mirror. But um, I feel like this past year, my skin has just broken out so badly and I actually ended up going on some medication for it. I think I went on doxycycline, if anyone's interested. And it has just made the world a difference to my skin. Like I would not have been confident enough to sit in front of the camera, maybe even six months ago and film a makeup tutorial. Although I am still a bit scared that my skin is gonna break out, but that's just kind of, the way things go, and it's never gonna be perfect, but it's definitely just a thousand times better than it was. Um, so I'm happy about that. And I will grab the first question to answer. Oh yeah, the other thing I wanted to talk about um, as well in this video is my first YouTube video because I watched it back before this because I was like, I wonder what I was like in that video because I can't really remember because it was over a year and a half ago, but oh, it was just so cringy and so embarrassing and I don't want to be too mean to that Megan because she obviously had the confidence to start a YouTube channel. I'm so grateful that I did that, but oh my God, it was just the longest video and, and there were so many sections I could have cut out that I just was the whole time thinking, just cut that out. It was like 16 minutes of straight blending. So luckily my editing skills have improved a bit since then. I think that's the thing about YouTube is you're just improving all the time and it's just so cringy to go back and watch those types of videos. So. Yeah, I probably won't be putting myself through that for a while again. Okay, so someone asked ideas for autumn winter fashion and I'm so excited for autumn winter fashion. As I've said, I'm just obsessed with everything autumn winter, like just big cozy jumpers and leather trousers. And I love trench coats this year. I definitely want to get a trench coat. So I'm just obsessed with autumn winter fashion. I love Louisa Bartman. Every time autumn rolls around, I'm like obsessed with Louisa Bartman again. So definitely go and check her Instagram out. Oh yeah, I forgot to say as well that I use the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in 2.5 and this is the Liquid M Magic Away Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury, but I don't know if I really recommend this concealer because it just runs out so quickly. Like this is my fourth one this year and it's only August. So I'm not convinced it is the best product though, but it's kind of like similar to the Maybelline Age Rewind. So maybe just try that instead. Although I do really love this one, but I just love it when I've got areas with a lot of scarring that I just feel like need fuller coverage than just the um, creamy radiant one. And I can just sort of go in and really go over all of those areas. Okay, so next question is, any autumn type of videos coming our way? Which I guess I kind of answered in the first one. I'm definitely gonna be doing like hauls. I'm gonna be doing Zara hauls, obviously. I wanna do an And Other Stories haul. And just, I love autumn. So I just honestly can't emphasize how excited I am. And I'm gonna do another naked haul and maybe a loungewear haul. Um, yeah, so all the hauls. I'm so excited for autumn. Now I pretty much feel, feel like I've covered up Everything that needs to be covered up, I'm just gonna just gonna go underneath my eyes. And the way I've been doing my concealer is just a little bit down the side of my nose, and then just that classic TikTok sweep up. There we are, beautiful. That is actually gonna be the death of me. That's so annoying. I don't know if that concealer technique actually does anything, but I just think it does kind of lift, but it, it could just be a, a gimmick. I don't know. I'm just gonna go in with my Chanel, Chanel. I'm just gonna go in with my Chanel. I'm not even gonna try much of this. I think it's called the Chanel Tan de Soleil and it's just, 
this like cream bronzer which my friend Eliza recommended to me and it's actually so good. I use it every day now. So I just tap it like that on my brush and oh my god my brushes are actually disgusting. I've had the same brush since year 11. If anyone can relate, brushes are the one thing that I will not spend money on. So I'm just gonna go in and pack that bronzer into my face. And I just find that when you skip out foundation, like my skin just looks so much more tanned and glowy and it just stays so much better. And actually I was in Starbucks once and some guy had the most amazing makeup on and I was like, what foundation do you use? And he was like, no, I don't use foundation. I just put on, just put on all of your makeup as you normally would without foundation and it just looks so much better. And I was like, that's incredible. And ever since then I've pretty much done it like this. So and the other thing I do is I just get my brush and pinch it and then I just go. Okay, so once I've done my cream bronzer, then I'll normally just top it up with this bronzer, which is literally just shattered. Brilliant. I'll then just top it up with my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow which is another ride or die of mine. I'll just go in. And they say that whenever you do something cream on your face, then you should always top it up with powder just to make sure that it stays all day. So now I'm done with contour, I'm just gonna go into baking and I'm still using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I actually bought the cutest little mini from Boots. This was like 12 pounds and this stuff just lasts me forever, so I thought this would be a really handy size and then I could take it on nights out and stuff, so definitely get a mini one. So I'm just taking my translucent powder on one of these little triangles and you can get these from Boots and they're like one pound and I absolutely love them for my powder. So what I like to do is I just, when I've done it properly, is I just take it, my bait, and I just take it up where I put that concealer earlier I feel like this just really, 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 like, does, you know what I mean? R like, redoes the concealer that I placed there and just creates that lift. And I definitely think this, if the other one doesn't, I definitely think this does work to really lift your face. And then I normally will also go underneath my cheekbones. And a little tip as well for doing your powder, if you actually take the powder higher than you would actually put beneath your cheekbones. So say your cheekbones, because my cheekbones are sort of like here, but then I'm always, well then I always remember at the last minute to take it up so that it sits just a tiny bit above, like that. Okay, so I'll let that sit for a second. Right, so the next question is, what is my favorite Starbucks drink? Or what's my go-to Starbucks drink? And what is my favorite food? And this is such a nice question. I, now it's autumn, have been loving the chai latte again. I'm honestly that basic, white girl who just is obsessed with Starbucks. In the summer I normally would just have a vanilla latte with oat milk and then make it iced sometimes. But yeah, anything with oat milk, always oat milk, definitely with some sort of sweetness in, that's my favorite. And I'm honestly such a ride or die Starbucks girl. And then the next question was, any plans for a holiday? And now I am still not over the whole LA saga, which if you've watched my videos before, then you'll know that I had a trip with Anna, which got cancelled, which is so sad, but we just said everything happens for a reason. Like we could have got on that plane and God forbid something terrible happened. So we've drawn a line underneath it, but I'm definitely scared to book holiday until now because I'm officially double jabbed. So now that I'm double jabbed, I will definitely be considering it. It seems that everywhere are really like happy with people that are double jabbed to come in. You don't have to isolate and you don't have to provide a negative test. So that's really good. So while we're waiting for that to sink in, I'm just gonna go ahead and do my eyebrow. The product which I use for my eyebrows is the It Cosmetics Brow Power Eyebrow Pencil, although this one's a tiny bit dark for me, so I'm just like super careful and gentle when I do this. But yeah, I just brush all the hairs up as normal, and then I'm just gonna go and fill it in. Right, so I just filled them in quickly off camera because it's just really boring. The Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I just always use this because no other brow setter is as good as this and just makes them last like this will literally make your eyebrows stay in place and just be bulletproof all day so i just swear by this and i've never found anything that even comes close to how good it is and it really holds your brows in place and then the next question was is olaplex worth the hype and again i love this question so 
I've been using Olaplex for about a year now and I actually had a thing in between half in between the bottles where I was like I just can't justify spending another 50 pounds on Olaplex it's so expensive and it's just not worth the money but I just bought some Tresemme stuff and honestly the difference in my hair it was absolutely crazy like even though it felt soft after a few days it would just go really like the end of a broomstick like really ratty and horrible and I actually had a lot chopped off and I've honestly been taking so much care of my hair recently and it just makes the world of difference you can just see hair getting progressively messier but yeah I can just definitely see a difference in my hair and it has that one thing that I will spend a bit of extra money on oh yeah I forgot to say that I'm using the um film star bronze and glow just the bronzer in the corner of my eyes and I don't really massively tend to do like loads of eyeshadow. In fact, I haven't even put like a base on, but I just like to give it a little something, but keep it nice and natural because obviously we've got no foundation on. So the next question is, do I have any favorite makeup or skincare products? And obviously I've shown you pretty much all my favorite makeup uh, products here, but in terms of skincare, I have so many skincare products that I love. So let me know if you'd want me to do this, an updated skincare routine because I really feel like I found my ride or die skincare routine now that just keeps me just topped up and my spots will just go away really quickly and my skin just looks overall so much smoother. So I think if I had to say like two products, I'd probably say the La Roche-Posay B5 Serum, which is a moisturizing serum. And I'm also just going in with this shade from the Desert Haze Charlotte Tilbury palette. But B5 is apparently naturally found in your skin and it's like a moisturizing component. And I just find that it just repairs my skin so nicely. Like I tried, I tried going without it for like a week and I noticed such a difference. My skin just doesn't get dehydrated anymore. So either that or I think, I'm gonna say retinol because I've been using the Boots 1.5 concentrate. I put that here as well. And it's, oh, it's the number seven one, and oh my God, it's so good. You will get some peeling at first, and you definitely need to read the instructions of how to use retinol before you go in with it, because it can be intense. But after my skin like adjusted to it, and you will get like a little bit of peeling and stuff, it's actually quite gross. But once you've got all your peeling done, then your skin just looks so much more even. And yeah, I just never found that any product I used actually worked for my, like to even out my skin. And then I'm not gonna bother doing eyeliner. I was planning on doing it, but I just can't be doing with it right now. And actually I think this look is attempting to be more natural. So then I'm just gonna quickly curl my eyelashes and put my mascara on. I'm gonna do that off camera and I'm running out of mascara actually, but my ride or die mascara is the Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal. I just always love this one. It's like got a really, got a really long bristle if that's gonna so rude let me get out the there we are um yes yeah, so it's just got like a really long and curved wand which i love so i'm just gonna quickly do that and then i'll be right back my mascara done i normally just like to let it sit for a second so then my next question is where do i see myself in five years this is a question from a friend and i love this question i definitely want to be like i don't know it's quite a difficult question because i feel like if you say what your plans are like if i said my plans I think a lot of people would just be like, that is the most ridiculous thing. But I have big dreams. I love to be living in London. I'd love to have my own apartment in London. I'd love to be able to travel the world. Yeah, I think I also got a similar one. Um, do you have any goals that you'd like to achieve in the next five years? So I'm currently at university, so I'd love to have a degree. That'd be great. Yeah, I just want to get through my degree and concentrate on that for the next two years. Hopefully I want to come out of uni and be able to find a job straight away. I don't want to have that weird in-between period where I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm definitely going to be on the lookout for like what I want as a backup career, apart from YouTube, of course, um, a backup career in the next two years so that when I come out of uni, I can just be organized. Right, so then I'm going in lastly with my blush. You'll be able to see I just wiped off that baking powder. But the blush which I've been using is the infamous Dior Backstage Rosy Glow. And I actually got Anna to buy this because, because I'm absolutely obsessed with it. So everyone was raving about it on TikTok saying that it was Kylie Jenner, I think, blush. But yeah, anyway, I just love it. It's, so it's a really 
bright, crazy pink. Like you'll be able to see in the thing, like it is absolutely insanely pink. But when it goes on your cheeks, it's definitely more of like a natural rosy glow. It makes my cheeks look so nice. And I just feel like my other blushes just never have gone far enough to give me like that kind of super vibrant, but still I'd say it's natural, but I feel like because it starts off looking really crazy by the end of the day, you can barely see it. So yeah, that's what it looks like on. I'm just absolutely obsessed with that. I love blush, it's my favorite part of makeup, I think, apart from lip liner. So then lastly, all that there is to do is lips. And I'm gonna use the crustiest old eyebrow pencil, which I've been using as a lip liner for ages. But I just, in fact, I think I might have even used this in my last video, my first one, my first get ready with me. But I just absolutely love it. It's actually lasted such a long time. Like it's still thriving, so. That's good. And then I'm just quickly gonna go in with my lipstick, which is the Kevin Aquan lipstick in the shade Thalmadora, which I got from Space and K. So then I'll just dab it in and it's just the perfect everyday shade. It's just such a pretty natural shade and I just love it. It looks amazing. But in this case, I am just gonna pop some Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow on top. So then I'm quickly just gonna pop on some under the eye mascara and a few touch ups because I feel like I'm melting away underneath the lights and I will be right back. So this is the finished look for the no foundation makeup routine. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I've honestly had such a nice time just chatting and answering some questions. So let me know if you'd want me to do more makeup looks. Not sure I've got many more after this, but um, let me know if you want to see more of this kind of video or maybe a skincare routine. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to the end, then please do feel free to subscribe down below and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.